Alright, so I decided I want to come back and play a game that I haven't played in a really long time. Uh, fun fact, I used to actually record niche videos and upload them on YouTube years before I started this channel. So, those are out there somewhere. But I want to come in here and try and play again. Because I feel like it's something that people of my channel could be interested in. Because it has to do with sort of like... Uh, genetics and cute animals and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go with story mode just because I kind of need a refresher personally on like how to play the game. I remember most of the basic controls and stuff and I remember how the genetics work. I love the little characters designs. They're like a weird mix between like cats and foxes and I find them adorable. I think our intro broke. So here we are. This is our starting little character named Adam. We're pressing the sun up here, like so where we can skip day. We should be old enough to go ahead and collect fruit now. So we're also able to travel by coming over to these flower ports over here. So sort of the aim of this game is to just kind of explore, get large colonies of little animals, and also just try to survive and explore these different continents that we can take ourselves to. Oh, so we got like a fishy little creature as our Eve. We can offer five food, and now she's in our little colony, tribe, whatever um, they're called in this game. But clicking on Adam, we can breed and start beginning to have a bigger colony of little guys. So here's our first ever baby, Anias. So let's see. Adam has some kind of bad eyesight, so in his genetics pool we're going to add better eyes, just in case he passes down his bad eyesight uh, recessive dream. I don't see any other complicated genes, so I think we're all right there. The we don't have any bad uh, recessive genes hidden, so I will just add the eyesight to you as well. So hopefully that uh, none of our little babies get bad eyesight as they grow up. So now it's just showing us how to view our genes and stuff here, which I pretty much already know what we're looking at. Yeah, now it is just up to our little guys to sit here and explore our new little world. Eve here is pretty good at uh, cracking open shells and nuts like that, so that's why I have been trying to use her to collect the shells down here. As you can see, Adam isn't very good at uh, collecting these nuts, but now that our little guy has kind of grown up a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and try and get over to this flower port here. Let's see what our new island is. I would absolutely adore for people in the comment section to leave name suggestions for all of our little guys, because we can actually come into their family tree and rename them right here. It would be awesome to get some sort of name suggestions and stuff from the viewers while we do this. So it's important for us to continue breeding our little guys so we can have bigger colonies and just overall be safer. Fortunately, we have to have a uh, certain amount of nesting material to even do that, so. We're just going to clear around this area in hopes of getting enough nesting materials to actually do something. Oh, we have found an empty nest right here, so she can actually come over here and nest in this one instead. So here's our new baby boy, Lurler is his name. So we have two options for flower ports. I'm probably going to go for this one because if I remember correctly, I think the ones on the right and the top are usually like harder or similar difficulty islands, while the ones going to the left are less difficult islands. Not entirely sure if that's true or not, but that's something I vaguely remember from back when I used to play this bunch. Oh, they, these two just look like twins, honestly. Let's see, what colors can we get going around here? Because it'd be really fun to get some more colors. I feel like uh, the beige would look good with the orange that we have going on with him. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. So I like to think that both Adam and Eve here were kind of lost from their sort of tribes and families in similar means. So Adam was swooped up by a bird, but we don't know much about how Eve was lost. Maybe Eve just simply doesn't like to talk about it much. Or maybe she would was a loner and just a 
kind of enjoyed to stay by herself more. Regardless of why Eve is lost, Adam and her have gotten quite a strong bond with each other, and they, mi they both miss their families quite a lot, and decide to make it their goal to try and repopulate their little islands, hoping that one day they can make it back to their original families, even if it's not anytime soon. Hmm. Got a big bear back here. That's a little intimidating. So I'm thinking it might be a good idea to go ahead and jump to the next island, just to try and see if we can find any more fellas, because we can't really breed with those who are related to us, because that will just end up in genetic sickness and all sorts of other bad things. And it'd be really unfortunate for us to have that kind of thing running rampant around here when there's only so few of us. Oh, and there's our first death. Where's that second? Where's Adam? Oh, no, they both died. Yep, Adam and Eve both sadly passed away. So, let's see. So it's important to Adam that something of his genetics gets passed on, and this home island immunity is something that is special to Adam. So if you look around, everybody, every one of these kids will have a different combination of two genes. This is what causes disease to spread. If these two letters or symbols match up, then they will have low immunity, get sick, get ev everyone else sick, and have just lower lifespan in general. But for Adam's story, it's important for us to keep these star gene ones alive longer than the other ones. And while we're most likely not going to run out of food anytime soon, on the off chance that we do, it is important for us that we make sure the star gene fellas live longer. So we lastly just need to get Annalyn over here and Isria. And now all of us are here on the flower port. Now we were able to travel. Back when I first played Niche, so I want to say roughly like five, six years ago is when I like addictively played it. But I used to play this game all the time. Uh, to the point where I even had OCs that I would make of it. So they were characters that I got super attached to and then started drawing and making stories for just a lot. I don't know what the uh, species are called. Nichelings, maybe? I usually just call them critters. Creatures. Okay, so let's do our next island that we just loaded into. It quite a lot bigger. Very swampy. So now comes the decision of do I want to go up or right? I can't remember. I think right is more difficult. Up is similar difficulty and I think left is lower difficulty. I'm actually going to google this real quick. Alright, so we go to our right for islands of the same difficulty, left for easier, and north for harder. It would be in our best interest to go to North Islands, as that will progress our storyline with Adam and help us find his home. Which I've never actually completed Adam's storyline before. I'd always just make my own islands and just play around with them. But I thought it could be fun to give me just kind of a new experience in the game to actually finish something like this that I've never actually finished. So we'll just walk around here, clear around some of this nesting material, and start moving other little guys to their new home. And hopefully we can find somebody who is unrelated to us so that we can finally start getting our little tribe a little bit bigger. Ooh, uh, Istria got infected by a leech, so that is one problem about staying near the shoreline is that leeches can and will get us. But we can take the leech off and cure the bleeding. So let's see, I believe this one, Istria, has immunity to poison. Not sure. Ah, yes, poison resistant. So she will be able to pick from these poison berry bushes. But that's something we need to be wary of whenever we start expanding our little group, because not everybody is going to have the ability to pick those poison berry bushes. Let's see, can we smell anybody new around us? Not yet, unfortunately. So we'll just have to keep checking that and seeing if we can find anyone near us new at all. Oh, hello! We have found a new guy already! Oh, he has huge bat ears! He is so cute! I want you to join us! Hello? Uh-oh. He is permanently sick. That is not good. Uh, so we need to keep him away from our characters, so that nobody else gets sick. However, it's still gonna be kind of important to us to expand our gene pool and get some of these H's around, so... We are going to still have to breed with him? But he's going to have to stay on the sidelines and just kind of stay here by himself. Let's see. I think it would be easiest if we just grab all of our females and sort of get the ball rolling there. Ooh. Yeah, we might need to hurry this up faster. I should have built her a nest. 
because this is not going to end pretty if we don't hurry up. Oh, and lucky for us, we have twins. So Anna Lynn has given us Laurelyn and Satoshi. So that's going to be really helpful for us to have those genes floating around more. Ha, ah, and we have found a nest right here. I have someone new here. Are you friendly? You seem friendly. We'll go ahead and bring you in. But let's see if we can get rid of any of these deformities. Um, you have a bad snow and a deformed paw. So in your gene pool, I'm going to try and make it harder for you to pass that down. So Donovanu is about to pass away due to his issues in his immunity. He's so pretty though. I hope that we can at least try and pass down at least some of his genes before he sadly will have to go. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get close enough. Well, that's disappointing. Annalyn has unfortunately gotten a cold. So we're going to have to do our best to just try and cure her. And who's this over here? A platypus with peacock feathers. Hello, little guy. You should uh, join our little group. Oh, he's so tiny. He's cute, though. No, no, ta. Fortunately, it looks like she passed down her derp snout, which does not help us in the long run at all. We're definitely getting a lot more members to our little tribe here, which is very important for us. Uh, as, you know, surviving is quite an important feat that we must accomplish while we're here. Oh, I thought you had fangs. My bad. You definitely will get poisoned from those, so let's not try that. We need to start trying to head up more so we can actually progress. So what I'll probably do is just send all the youngins that way. Keep the older ones here, as they will be passing away a lot quicker than the young ones will. You're a peaceful bear, I think. Yeah. We can give you some nesting material so you like us a little bit more. And that'll probably be good for us in the long run. Hello there. Oh, you're not very good. Well, might as well build a nest. Maybe we'll get a decent, uh, little kiddo from this. I don't know what genes that male had, but can at least try and pass down some decent ones. Unfortunately, you got the derp now. It'd be really cool to pass down some of his uh, peacock feathers and stuff. I really like how they look. They're funky. Oh, apparently that crab died on his own. Didn't I wasn't aware that they could do that, to be honest. The U, R, G, and E. So you are compatible with any of these guys. Do we have any more uh, star genes? Anna Lynn, she has a star gene. Luler has a star gene. So let's try and get more of these star genes going around as much as we still can. We don't want any of these guys with a gene to breed, but everybody else is perfectly fine too. Oh, I don't think you're good. Very much not good. Okay. So does anybody here... You have decent fighting. You don't really. You don't. You don't. You have decent fighting. Okay, so we got rid of that bear. That is very good for us. I was getting a little bit nervous that we were gonna start losing guys to it. We only really lost one, but realistically he was already really old, so he was going to pass away soon anyways. Let's see, I want to see how many of our guys here still have the star genes. So Adam's passed away, Lurku is still up and going, Lurlur has passed away, Annalyn is still up, uh, Turuko apparently has the gene, Dirto's Kerno. So I'm going to change all the guys with the star gene to blue so that it's easier to visually see which ones are which. I'm just gonna try and move all of our guys that are still alive up as much as I can. Let's see how far we can get. Uh oh, there's a bird here. We need to quickly make sure that none of our little children are far from anyone because those birds will come and attack us. I think once I get us to this next flower port up here is probably where I'm going to end it. I'm just gonna continue moving us up as much as I possibly can. Uh oh, we got another Baryena here. Try my best to fight you off, but uh, that doesn't look good for me. Uh oh, we got another rogue male here. That's not good. What is that over there? Something's glowing blue right there. That's a fruit. And there we go. We have most of our people over here, ready to hit the flower port. So now that we have most of our little guys here, we just need to figure out how we want to split up the mate and sort of what we plan to do here. Let's see. Takaru has our home gene. And Kerno has our home gene. So these two are the ones that we need to protect and try and get their genes to go around more. So at least both of ours who have the gene are males, so that's going to make things a little bit easier. We'll be able to breed them out a little bit more than if they were female. So I know this female needs to breed with this one, 
So F and B are the two genes that we need to make sure not to cross. So this one has B, this one has F. So if you have B, you need to read with F, and then skedaddle. You have H and A, so you're good either way. B, you need to breed with F. There we go. You have C and H, so you're good either way. And you have an A and B, so you need to breed with F. So I think these last two I'm just going to breed with this guy. Can these two not breed? Oh, you're a male. That's why. Regardless, I'll, ble I'll breed this last girl with him. And that should be all divvied up correctly. But now that we have made it to our new home and are successfully getting our little guys to pass down their genes and just survive this world. So ending off, we have Nonata, Prillerda, that is a weird name, Tammy, Takaru, Lunaru, Laurelin, Sisi, Elanami, Delinacy, and Kerno. And again, I would love for people to put name suggestions down in the comments because it'd be so fun to give them personalized names. And I'd love some help coming up with things. So this one is going to be a little bit harder for us to cross, but our goal is probably just going to keep going north. As the, the more we go north, the harder things get, however. So thank you everyone for watching, and I would love to play more of this if you guys are interested. Bye bye